of the tsunami earthquake relief fund. So I think the people who around the world who were sending money to help the victims of the earthquake did not have in mind that that money would be going down to kill whales in the Southern Ocean. And it's a total and complete disgrace. We don't know what we're going to be heading into down there, but we will not be deterred by their, by their threats. We will find them, we'll block them. If they want to stop us, they're going to have to sink us. We have asked the Australian and the New Zealand government to send a vessel down to keep the peace, to observe, and to rescue anybody if, it get, if we get into trouble. They've refused. There's a lot of Australian and New Zealand citizens on our crew, and we feel it's in the interest of the Australian government to do that. They've refused. They've been incredibly hostile to us for all the... And when you go down and look at the charts, there's a little dotted line 200 miles off the coast of that territory saying Australian Antarctic Economic Exclusion Zone. When Uruguayan fishermen go down there and catch Patagonian fishermen, Australia arrests them. So how is it that Uruguay can't, can't catch a fish, but Japan can kill all the whales they want? There's simply a double standard and it's really intolerable, and the government is doing very little about it. It's not just the Australian government or the New Zealand government, it's also the United States government, which has the power to end whaling tomorrow by simply upholding international, uh, U.S. Department of Commerce regulations, and yet they won't do it. Every president from Ronald Reagan on has refused to uphold the law. They discriminate on the application of the law in order to uh, allow Japan to do whatever it wants. And with the Obama administration, it was especially disappointing because the United States government and New Zealand got together to find a way to try and legalize whaling. And fortunately, thanks to Australia, Europe, and the Latin American blocs, that was shot down at the International Whaling Commission.